A pleasant and a very good Wednesday, September 2nd to everyone. I'm meteorologist Don Day with your day weather podcast. Well, what we have coming in September here is some nice September weather. It's been really nice to have some cooler weather over the last couple of days, but we're going to see a big jump in temperatures here for the second half of the week. And I think as we go through the Labor Day weekend, it's looking really nice. It looks like typical September weather. Rain chances are going to be low for the next several days, probably through the weekend, probably through Monday as well. However, just after Labor Day, rain chances go up and temperatures may drop again just after Labor Day. We're hoping we can hold the three day weekend with some good weather. But after that, some big changes are coming. Now, here's the 10 day precipitation forecast and you'll see why it looks like this here in a minute. One thing you can see that west of the Continental Divide, this has been a theme all year, all summer. We have the hot, dry, warm conditions that will be in the Pacific Northwest, the West Coast, the Great Basin. We're going to see another big old high build here into the Great Basin here over the next couple of days after the cool down. But east of the divide, we're going to see another cold front coming and this could be really good news for Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Western Nebraska, as we could see a good swath of upslope conditions next week. Now, can we believe this? Maybe not yet. It's a little early, but we're seeing some pretty strong hints that another strong cold front is coming, maybe stronger than the one that just came on through next week, but we're talking about something that's a week away. Temperature wise over the next 10 days, you can see the tendency that the next 10 days on average will be cool in the central and eastern areas of the divide and hot conditions west of the divide and into the Great Basin. We'll show you why. Now this is where we are today. We got a big high in Northern California, high pressure rebuilding in the west. The jet stream still kind of taking a dip into the nation's midsection, but look what happens over the weekend. Over the weekend, we get a big Great Basin high again so it's going to get really hot again for California, the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Utah, west of the divide. The heat even returns to the eastern slopes of the Rockies for Labor Day weekend. But right after Labor Day, this is for next Tuesday morning, we get a big ridge that develops across the Pacific Northwest and the Gulf of Alaska. So you know how that goes. You get a high here, you're going to get a trough in the west. The trajectory of the air, look at this, is coming all the way from the Northwest Territories and going due south into the Rockies, then east in the Plain States. Again, question mark, is it going to really be this strong? We'll have to see, but the models are all hinting that there's another strong cold front coming right around that eighth or ninth time frame. And look at these temperatures. Again, take this with a grain of salt, but as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, we may see a real significant plunge of much colder air into the Rockies and High Plains. I mean, when you're talking the purple monster here, you're talking about you know 20 to 30 degrees below average. Again, don't buy this yet. It's a question mark, but I do see right after Labor Day another possible cooling trend. Thanks for watching and listening to the Day Weather Podcast. Have a great Wednesday. Talk to you.